Hey there, my name is Kelly Dell, and today I'm going to show you how to use the spool knitting tool. Now, this is a neat new tool that we got in the store. It's not a new tool, but it's new to us. Um, basically, what it is, we will be using a four prong spool and we'll be using an awl that comes with it. And that's all the tools that you need. Now, you'll also need some 26 gauge wire as well as um, beads. Now, these can be four millimeter, six millimeter. Um, I probably wouldn't go above a six, but they can pretty much be any size bead. And what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna take, I can't really tell you a number of beads. I can just kinda tell you what I did. Um, I normally like to make my necklaces about 17 inches. So, the first necklace I made with this, I used four millimeters. 4 millimeter bicones to be exact, and it took me a little over 200 to make the necklace. Now today, I'm going to try and make one with the 6 millimeter bicones and see how it turns out. So I've threaded about 220 onto my um, 26 gauge wire. Now, whether um, you choose to use bicones, rounds, crystals, check glass, whatever you choose, it's going to be beautiful. But you'll need that. You'll need two large size cone end caps. You'll need two 6 inch 20 gauge pieces of wire as well as a closure. So get your materials together and let's get started so I can show you how to use the spool knitting tool. Now, once you get ready to start your project, you want to take your 26 gauge piece of wire and I'm going to stick it, There's, if you look through, there's a hollow hole in the bottom of it. And it goes straight through your piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to stick it through to give myself just a little bit of wire to hang on to at the bottom here. Now, you think of your um, four prong spool as a clock with, you know, how it, you know, a clock with um, 12, 3, 6, and 9. And mine's going to look a, probably a little different. I probably said it wrong because it's upside down. But um, basically what we're going to do is you're going to take, and starting from the center, I'm going to wrap around my peg. I'm going to come across, wrap around the next peg, around the next peg, and around the next peg, as so. Now, once I've gone around once, I'm then going to go around one more time. So, one, two, three, and four. And once I've wrapped around that fourth one, I'm just going to take and lay it down and hold my, hold my finger over the top of it there. Now, the thing about spool knitting is that your awl is your big tool that you're going to use. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my first loop, not the second loop that we made, that one there on the top. I'm not going to use this top one, but I'm going to use the one below it. And I'm going to take my awl and I'm going to pull that, whoops, pull it back down in there. I accidentally let go of there. But I'm going to take and pull it over the second one. Same thing, and I'm going to go around doing that. I'm going to grab a hold of the bottom loop, and it'll take you a little practice to get used to it. I'm going to pull it up over the first loop here, and then I'm going to give my wire a little tug down here in the center to kind of get it the way I need it. Then I'll just do this all the way around, going clockwise, pulling the bottom over the top, giving it just a little pull. The first ones you do are going to be, I'll just be honest with you, they're going to be very ugly because you're not used to the way the wire works. But once you get your thing started, you'll be doing really, really good. Okay, so first off, this is what we got. It looks like an ugly mess so far. So I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna wrap my wire around just like I would normally. And I'm gonna do the same thing like I normally would. I'm gonna grab a hold of the bottom loop, pull it over the top loop. 
and give my center down here in the bottom, give my center a little tug. Bottom, over the top. Bottom. And like I said, it's going to take you just a little while to get used to it. Bottom over the top. And bottom over the top. And give it a little tug so it'll go down in there. Now, as you can see, my beads have kind of got up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unroll my spool of wire a little bit. And you're going to miss me here for just one second. Because i got to unroll my spool of wire and let my beads go down. Now, when you work doing this project, you will definitely want to work on a tabletop so that your stuff can be laid out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let a bead drop down and wrap. Let a bead drop and wrap. Let a bead drop and wrap. And let a bead drop and wrap. Now, got my four beads on there. So, going clockwise, I'm going to take the top or the bottom loop and pull it over the top loop. Each time, giving it just a little bit of a tug. Bottom loop, over the top loop. And bottom loop over the top loop, giving it just a little bit of a tug. Okay, now ready to wrap again. And each time from now on, I'm going to pull a bead up before I wrap my wire. <clears throat> so bottom loop over the top loop bottom loop over the top loop bottom loop over the top loop and bottom loop over the top loop and that's going to give it just a little bit of a tug so that my beads will go down in there now, I'm going to continue adding a bead, wrapping, adding a bead, and wrapping all the way around until I get the length of the necklace that I need. Now, as you work, you'll see your work start to come through the bottom here. So, don't worry about what's going to happen how. Just remember to hang on to that little bottom piece there so that you'll be able to pull. And you want to continue to do this until you have um, the length that you need. And then I will show you how to finish it off. 